I'm certified meteorologist Nick Kelly, and we ended up with a great Saturday, even though we had to start it with a burst of winter that brought us rain, sleet, and snow last night going into early this morning. Fortunately, if you didn't want much in the way of accumulations, we didn't see a whole lot, really, mainly an inch around the Joplin Metro with not a lot left over once we got the sun in full force today. In fact, you can see how we looked throughout the course of uh, most of our Saturday with the time lapse from Tommy's Express car wash out on Range Line in Joplin. You see from the start of the time lapse, we had quite a bit of snow and sleet covering the grass there, and one little burst trying to do some accumulating on uh, some of the drive there of the concrete, but didn't really mount to much more than a nuisance, really. In fact, it ended up being a good day with quite a bit of sunshine during the course of the afternoon. So that system's long gone now. So where do we go from here? I'll tell you right off the bat, we'll have to start with another hard freeze for your Sunday morning in the blue. Those are the freeze warnings until 9 o'clock Sunday morning. But even if you aren't under the freeze warning, it's going to be another cold start with temperatures in the 20s waiting for us as we go into Sunday morning. At least we did rebound after tying a record low this morning. We started at 23 this morning, tying the record set back in 2007. And that high of 45 for today, that's actually warmer than our average low for an April 7th. So we should be starting out a normal day like this in early April with our afternoon high and we should be seeing highs topping out around 68. It'll take a little work for us to get back near normal if not a bit above normal if you're tired of winter but we will see things improve temperature wise as we go throughout the course of the week ahead of us. From 7th and Range Line though late on the Saturday night coming up in 1107 it is cold 34 right now the breeze has calmed down a bit so we don't have really a wind chill to the air but with some clear sky still around and that breeze lightening up, it won't, take, won't be long before we see some upper 20s popping up. So back, we already have a few upper 20s trying to pop up in southeast Kansas, especially Iola at 27, but 32 in Parsons, 36 in Grove, 33 in Carthage. Everybody is primarily in the lower 30s for now, but before we see the cloud cover build in by sunrise, we will be dropping back into the upper 20s. So at the very least, we had a nice uh, afternoon to enjoy after again that blast of winter last night and this morning. You can see on the Skywatch storm tracker those clouds getting ready to work back in from the north and from the west ahead of our next wave that's been building off to our west. It's not an impressive wave per se but I have it spelled out for you right here. This is the upper level setup. This wave is continuing to march its way across the Pacific Northwest mainly uh, Oregon, Washington State, and coming across northern parts of Nevada and California. That wave, most of that action will pass just to our north, but it will be close enough here that it will bring back the clouds as we go through the overnight and maybe a little, another little burst of wintry weather by the time we get past sunrise. So let's walk you through the rest of the future track. You can see for yourself another cold start will be waiting for us. Upper 20s throughout the overnight, and we could warm a bit by the time we hit 7 a.m., but still right around freezing. Clouds will be on the increase throughout the course of the day, and that wave out west, you can see it hinting at a bit of a rain-snow mix just south of Wichita, and that will try to develop and clip through the area here. And you can see for yourself, it doesn't look too impressive now, but I think the chance is there, as long as this wave is passing by, for a few scattered showers mixing in with a little bit of snow. It's not looking like a big deal. Once we get past the morning, Again, the morning is going to be our main chance to see any potential snow mixing in with the rain chances. Then once we hit the afternoon, we'll certainly be warm enough for just a few scattered showers under otherwise mostly cloudy skies for your Sunday. So the planner looks like this. 28 to start. We're quiet by sunrise, but throughout the rest of the morning after we get past sunrise, that way passes through. We'll have some scattered showers that could mix in with a little bit of snow. Then by lunchtime, temperatures up to 41. We should be at 47 for tomorrow afternoon with, again, some scattered showers around. If you're concerned about any potential accumulations with this, I don't expect much out of this, really. Most of what I've seen behind the scenes here, again, just don't plan on a snow day, kids. We're not going to get much out of this wave. And you can see for yourself here, the snow tracker might be a bit optimistic if you're hoping for at least another decent batch of snow. In general, though, 
it's going along with what I'm thinking. Maybe a quarter of an inch or less. A quarter of an inch might be stretching it. And so if anything tries to accumulate, it will be very minor. And with the way we look going into Monday, it will not last long. Even with another passing front coming through, we stay above the freezing mark going through your Monday morning. Then once we get on the backside of this passing cold front, It'll bring just enough lift and moisture and some energy to get some scattered showers in here for your Monday afternoon. But we are thankfully not going to cool down a lot once we get on the backside of that system. We start at 35 Monday morning, top out at 59, maybe another night flirting with the freezing mark going into Tuesday morning, but look at Tuesday afternoon, 57 degrees with mostly sunny skies, pushing 72. That's looking more like it with partly sunny skies as we head into Wednesday. We could even push 80 by the time Thursday rolls around. Then we'll watch for another system by Friday. Right now I'm thinking we can see scattered thunderstorms with that with highs of 75, but we need to keep an eye on that system. Depending on how it sets up, it could bring some strong, maybe severe thunderstorms. Then it's far too certain to say for sure, but we will keep an eye on the system by next weekend. For, fortunately though, once we get past another wintry bout for tomorrow, we will see temperatures improve quite a bit throughout the course of the week. Have a good night. Have a great Sunday.